We are Spud and Joey. We are best friends, dads, and realtors. We also head up a running tribe here in Salt Lake City called Run With Mojo. On the weekends, we love exploring new trails and neighborhoods together. We aren't the fastest or the most skilled runners in the world. We're just two slightly out of shape dads that love a good trail run. We love running as much for the opportunity to clear our minds and have a good laugh as we do for the run itself. As runners, we know how mundane running on a treadmill can be. That's why we created the Come Run With Us project. So the next time you're on a treadmill, you'll have a cool trail to explore and a couple of buddies to run with. No matter what time of day or where you are in the world, you can always come run with us. It's not really. You might be just, just tuning in for the first time. So, like, never mind. Not welcome back. But this is part two. So if you didn't watch part one, part watch part one. We are, are we, Spud? So we're in Draper on, uh, what is this trail? This is the, 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 the Bonneville Shoreline. <laughs> really? <laughs> I forgot what trail we were on. We've it, been on it for the last 35 minutes. But we've also Same been on trail. it like we, in fact, 10 It's been a times. week for you, but it's been 30 seconds for us. We turned <laughs> off. Thanks for running on the Bonneville Shore. I don't know if we said it that directly, but we, we, here we still stand from, you know, last week. And, and yet, Spud, man. Boy, it's been dude. all week. It's been all week. How can I remember what happened a week ago? It was last week's episode, That's right? Good point. Good I mean, point. so this is the look come, at this. come Run With Us project. And we are, we're soaking it all in right now, enjoying it. Don't you feel like this is now the ultimate view or the first, like, I feel like part one was all about the, 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 the conversation. This is all about the view. So maybe we should just stop talking, stop making you listen to us, and you just get to watch this. Or I, actually I just mute it. Let's have, a, let's have a quiet moment. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. I, it's, uh, <laughs> now it's awkward. Okay, let's try Let's try 10 seconds. Let's give people, they're, they're walking, they're warming up, they're on the treadmill, they're on their exercise bike, they're just getting in the zone, it's early, you got up, you're hitting it, you're wanting a pretty view, and just a little bit of silence, a little bit of a uh, moment of reflection to start your day. This is the hardest thing I've ever done. This is different. This is different. The thing ever this done. is different. That was really good. Like, because, because you know, I'm all about like you know trying to be uncomfortable. Uh, and and like, that boy, was it. The more uncomfortable you are, the the stronger you you are, and stuff like that. People say it better than me. But anyway, that was hard. That was hard. Now uh, I filmed the entirety of the last episode. So this one. Oh, you the, did. The bulk. So when they notice how good it is, you. how good it is, it falls on you. Now, if you see an opportunity for a promo, since I didn't bring my phone with us, please let me know. I'll take the camera. Or if I just, if I start to get hives on my back because <laughs> I'm worried about what the videography is like when you're. Last holding week was it. so bad. When I was holding it, I looked at that episode. I think it was the. Bo uh, no, it was the. Uh, it was the, you know, the trail. The one I run on every single day. Jordan River. <laughs> Jordan River. <laughs> Remember on the last episode I said how my memory is getting so much better? Wow. Maybe, maybe I was lying. Yeah. So anyway, uh, <laughs> I don't remember what I was saying now. <laughs> just it's all up here still trapped man i oh, just, no. <laughs> just remember everything no i remember now uh, uh i gotta hurry and, uh it was it was uh the bonneville shoreline tra no <laughs> jordan river the jordan river trail man my uh recording on that is the worst it's really bad like yeah. it was so bad at one point i was like what are you doing spud so I'm sorry. I <laughs> this is Spud. I will try to get better. Recording. I will try. I can't. I don't even know if I'm recording right now. Wait, I need to move my mic because it keeps hitting my collarbone. And that's another thing I absolutely hate. It's kind of cool we're all blacked out, you and I. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice that because it's been so dark. I can't get my mic off. Okay. There. Since... No, I got it. Can I got it. I got it. Oh, I guess I didn't have it when. <laughs> okay. Okay, now super icy today. I don't know if we've gone over that in this episode. Nope, we haven't gone Insanely over the fact icy. that we're going to fall sometime. So, 
Last episode, Spud fell for about 45 seconds. <laughs> It was the longest fall I've, it's not true. I've I was, ever witnessed. I was, I was running in place because I really wanted to get that, that, that much more exercise than Joey. About three quarters of a mile worth. Ma'am, I am in so much, like my headspace on this, this episode, if, la if you watched last week and I'm, I, I seemed like I was down, I really was, uh, cause that was a week ago. And now I'm just feeling like, just, I'm fine. I don't have a headache anymore, body doesn't hurt anymore, like I'm just dialed in. And those are things I complained about on the last episode, so I'm sorry people. Hey, we, uh, as mentioned in the last episode, it took us a long time to get out of the car this morning. A long time. Uh, but here we are, and now we're happy we did it. Um, I think it was the view and just the, the lack of darkness. Look, the nature, nature is a healer, you know? It, it heals you. We That's need to why. do some uh, barefoot running so we can ground ourselves a little bit. That'd be fun. Maybe we can uh, go run on a beach sometime and do that. Be cool. I wonder if the video was bad because you, you were get holding the good the camera. camera and I get the bad camera. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Let's definitely blame, blame something else because he's identical aged GoPros. One of them's just a real lemon. Hey, maybe there, maybe there's something to that. Maybe we haven't pieced together with all these pro issues we've had. Maybe we haven't pieced together that it's just one of the cameras. <laughs> That'd be funny if it really was. Did you have, I feel like last episode, something we didn't actually close before the end of the show, as you said, you had a question for me. Ah. That was so been rolling around you in your head and you never asked it. And now I feel bad because we've been doing so good about closing out the the sods, but You're right, you're right. Yeah, no. Um I do have a question. And then we went on the uh the Rattler 2 tangent. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this I'm not feels so weird. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do anything. Just just slow and easy. I'm get, I, it's again, it's not a scared thing. It's the <laughs> earth moving under my feet and the way it makes me feel. And I feel like I'm, I run like an idiot, because... Oh, you don't run like an idiot. You're a beautiful runner. Thanks. Okay, so... Oh, you almost we, got uh, <laughs> Yeah, we went on a real tangent about the world's greatest 90s action film starring uh, Sylvester Stallone and Jean-Claude Van Damme and Kim Basinger. We, th we, threw, we threw Sigourney Weaver into it. Oh, man, I forgot we added Sigourney. Oh, man, it is, a, it is an all-star cast. And uh, you have to listen to the Dimple Dell from Hell episode to know what we're talking about. We, we play a voicemail that Spud left me where he comes up with the idea for the movie Rattler 2. And uh, it's really good. Anyways. Okay, but because so we question, just went on the tangent again, what was... Yeah. <laughs> so the question that I was going to pose that ultimately got me on, on that tangent was I want to know... And it's got to be the first thing that comes to your head. I asked this question to myself, and I, a song immediately came to my head. So I'm going to ask you a question with just the one song that comes to your head first, and then I think we can open up a discussion if maybe there's like a top three or something. So, gut reaction. What's, in your opinion, the best one-hit wonder that's ever been, that's ever, that's ever been? Ooh. You want to know mine that immediately came to my head? Yeah. What's up by Seven Non Blonde? I don't know what that one is. When I wake in the morning, I oh, step outside and that I is a take one a deep breath and I get real high and I <laughs> scream to the top of my lungs. So they didn't. Going on? So they had nothing else, is what you're saying? What's that? They had nothing else, as far Do as you know of anything. Well, I've never heard of that other than you from you. <laughs> so. I wonder how the camera work is when I'm jumping. <laughs> yep, just as bad as it is when you're just running. I think <laughs> they're like, actually, it got a little bit better because you're in the sky yeah, longer. You're floating for a split second. So, so actually, what kind of makes me this question is great question, by the way. Um, the one I think of that is like a uh, a huge one-hit wonder that I feel like. I just, I still to this day love more than anything is 
And I don't know if it is, so don't be offended if it is not, but is the the Pixies, where is my mind? Ooh. I felt like... That's, I feel like the Pixies have a couple of albums. I feel like there's gonna be a bunch of upset people. I couldn't name another song by them. <laughs> well, no, that's the first thing I thought of was, okay, the very first thing I thought of was Semi-Charmed Life by Third Eye Blind, but I love Third Eye Blind and I don't think they're a one-hit wonder. But that song to me is very one-hit wondery to a lot of people. See, and I don't think that's big enough. Semi-Charmed Life? Yeah. Everybody in the world knows that song. Yeah, but I mean, is everybody in the world singing it at karaoke? I feel like- every... I didn't even know what your song was. That's outrageous. No, it's not. 25 years and my life is still. Yeah, I heard it the first time get through up you. That great big hill of hope. Every single karaoke night, somebody sings that song. Okay. Well, I've been to one karaoke night. What so about maybe Tub Thumping? Oh, that's a good one. Pissing the night away. No, that's I definitely one. I don't think one. we're thinking big enough, though. I don't think we're. Oh, that's big enough. Yeah, on a big enough level. Good morning. Good morning. Got it? Yeah, no, I think Those that's a... doing it right. They got like... I the, think that's a big enough song. They got the, the chains on, the, the spikes on their feet, you know? They're well, doing it right. guess what? As they turned around to look, one of the guy's little uh, chain doohickeys fell off his shoes, and I don't need that. <laughs> I don't need that in my life. <laughs> that's awesome. So, One Hit Wonders for me are just, are the song that, you know, just... One song hit hard, and then nothing else gone. came. Yeah. And I, I just don't. It was too big. What I about just... Space Hog? Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was good. See, I think my problem is I never listened to enough like poppy, trendy music oh, to remind. Okay. So okay. not like, it's not like a backwards. Song. Okay, yeah, no. I'm I, not backhanded. Very loud and clear. <laughs> you know, like, I have a curated vinyl collection that I stick pretty religiously to. You know, I'm an actual music aficionado. You know, I don't spend any time in one hit wonders. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have said that. Wow. That's the only thing wow. I can blame Just, it on because I'm having a really hard time with this. What a cultivated this. musical palette you have. How dare I even suggest. Ooh, how about awkward? A Barbie Girl. That is one of my favorite songs oh, of all that time. Was big. That is a big one. I'm gonna that go with is that. Is a considered huge one, Spud. That might be a. That might be like a top five for sure. And to be honest, like I used to play Diddy Kong Racing in my room alone, listening to the whole entire Aqua album. So I didn't consider <laughs> that a one-hit wonder. <laughs> you just said. You just had the audacity. To say, <laughs> I don't really listen to pop music. You know, I don't listen to that stuff. And yet, <laughs> and yet, you would sit in your room and listen to the entirety of the Aqua. What is it, Aqua? Yeah, it was the Aqua. Aqua album. I, don't, I don't even know. Uh, I just remember the CD was blue, and it had them on it in like a fish lens, and their faces were all around, and it looked like they were in a fishbowl. You know what it is? Is um. They were so big, and then everybody they were, they, and then everybody just hated them so bad. Is that um, you're my butterfly, come come, my lady? Oh, I love that. Well, song. If we don't know it though, then it can't be that big. Come, my lady, come come, come, come my lady. lady. Crazy you're my town. butterfly. Was beautiful, it, baby. Was it Crazy Town? Crazy Town. Yes. <laughs> yes. It was yeah, crazy I love, town. dude. I, there was another album I had that I hated all of it except for that. <laughs> so, so I think that counts. Good morning. Good morning. Um, okay. Gosh. All, all of these are from the 90s. I feel like One Hit Wonder is not a thing anymore because everything you, you, when, they, when Apple started selling songs for 99 cents a pop, you know, like, I feel like it wasn't as... Could we throw Papa Roach into that mix? Oh, man. Could Papa Roach? Little... No, they had, like, five killer songs. You can't say that. All right. Well, I, I hate them because... We had a, it always makes me think of a dear friend of ours that took his life. Uh, That's interesting because I have a, a Deftones. Like, I love Deftones. They're one of my favorite bands. And for some reason, I can't listen to uh, uh, that. Honestly, that makes me think of him too. Oh. Yeah, that entire Lippy. album. Oh, I can't listen I'm to it. i to run off the trail here. Huh? Wow, this is way worse than I thought. Hi. This is, a, this is like a bobsled route here. <laughs> 
<laughs> what's, the, what's the right word for that box? <laughs> Good, how are you? Track. Oh, thank, thank you. you for letting us pass. Wow, that was uh, yeah, much like scarier than I thought. Either. And honestly, if I didn't love a perfect circle so much, there's some elements of that, but it more reminds me of, of Shag than, than him. That's funny because uh, perfect circle reminds me of Clint. Yeah, when too. he went yeah, on his uh, senior track, I uh, listened to I do love perfect circle. to Why that in my today? garage alone and cried missing him. <laughs> it was pretty awkward. I had, I had somebody else go over to my house and was like, are you just jamming to perfect circle in your garage, super sad and depressed? I was like, yeah, Clint's gone for a week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know how, you know a month or two ago we had a Clint off yeah. to see who, yeah, you win. <laughs> you win. That, if that's, if you've done that before, well, but <laughs> you win. <laughs> I think, I think the, the game was really to see who like had more like time and, and like, you know, so like even though I might be the obsessive creepy one with him, I think you two still have probably a bigger, larger history. Well, maybe. I don't know. It's okay. It doesn't matter. We're both equal in <laughs> awesomeness. So, all right. Well, hey, this is, we need to remember another thing, you know, we're going to put this in the Wait show notes. No, we'll remember to do this one when this show airs. Is we've got to, we've got to ask, we've got to ask the biggest one-hit wonders of all time, because I think we've named off some good ones. Um, yeah, I think we've named off some good ones. I'm like leaking water. Why are they Can all you... from the '90s? Can you hold for just two seconds? Yeah. We hold this for two seconds. I mean, hold up and hold that. Sure. Why are all the, why are all these one-hit wonders we're thinking of from the 90s? Because we're from the 90s. Let me, let me get you from. How did I? Gosh, how did if I? you could see, the sun is breaking through the clouds right on, right on Kennecott. Hopefully you're watching this on a TV. My setup in my basement is so good. I have a treadmill in our workout room and I can dim the lights all the way down. And I can put the treadmill right in front of a 65, our 65 inch TV we have in there. Not being braggy and douchey, it might sound that way, but uh -uh. no, it's not like that. Everybody, uh, you everybody can get a 65 for like has, 300 yeah, bucks. So yeah, has a back in the day, it's braggy and douchey Here. that I said that it might be braggy and douchey. Oh, let me take the recording. That was away. the that was the bad part. No. So, anyways, long story short, these are really fun because I go in. It's usually Tuesday morning because I usually already ran before they launch on Monday, but I go in dark room, big screen right in front of me. It really feels like I'm on the run. That's interesting. So it's it so looks much cool fun. on a big screen, huh? This I've looks, never actually I mean, watched when on I'm any... filming. When I'm filming, it's decent <laughs> on a big screen. When you're filming, it feels like you're on the uh, white roller coaster at Lagoon. <laughs> like it's gonna jar your, it's gonna jar your feelings out of your head, you know? Oh, this is not sketchy this is at all. <laughs> We're fine. Everything's fine. Did you notice my alarm didn't go off, or did I shut it off and I just didn't realize it? I don't know. It was during that time when we switched around that it said we were done, but well, it worked perfect. I mean, we shot a 40 minute episode up. Hey, will you check real quick? And I know we just started running again, but let's. No, I checked. We're recording and then see how much time we got on this episode. Uh, seven, 18 minutes. minutes. Yeah. 18 minutes, yeah. But we might have to run past the turn off a little bit and then come back to get the full. Yeah, 30. this was much faster. Whoa. <laughs> it's a little sketchy. Oh, can we have that? Uh, I want that one of our shirts. It's a little sketchy, <laughs> but it has to actually say it like that on the shirt somehow. Hey, I'm going to make us, by the way. Do you have any um, extra mojo pullovers? Yeah, I need I need a couple of your extra ones. I'm going to get some vinyl letter lettering put on the back. Some what? Some vinyl lettering. Oh, put on I the back. Just... I'm gonna do like a big agency A and like agency Salt Lake City. Oh, okay. Um, put on there. We need to, and we probably need to make some shirts before we get to uh, the jackpot. Oh yeah. We're gonna be running with people for 48 hours. Might as well. Be a great opportunity to tell Might people about well. the show. Might as well. Yeah. Do some little guerrilla marketing, you know, as they say. So we're parked just right down there. Honestly, I think it'd be safer for us when we go back to just bomb down the side of the hill, but 
I know that's not cool. Ah, damn it! Ouch! I'm good! That was so no, bro, violent. Okay. Now don't move. <laughs> it is surprising that this camera worked. The spud already smashed it against the ground. I Are did you alright? That looked that yeah. looked it was weird. Was really violent. It was it was so weird. Like it was there was nothing there. And then I think I anyway, that's where my knee hit. <laughs> wow. Um uh, that was super violent. And your leg your leg went in three different directions. <laughs> I really wish you would have seen it now. There you go. Ow. Yeah, that was... Oh, thanks for getting me out of... <laughs> yes! If that gets me out of recording! <laughs> uh, yeah, wow, that was intense. Um, I'm excited to see that back on the GoPro, even though it won't be... Uh, it won't be what I what happened to me. I know what happened to me, so now I want to see what it looked like to this. Yeah, probably about the same. People are probably just like, what, what, what did happen? <laughs> I don't understand. It, it, such, it, I just thought was recording. <laughs> <You're> such, <laughs> oh. Oh man. <laughs> well, I just, I just thought it was recording normal. No big deal. Uh, yeah, I know I've done a lot of talking on this, and I know I give you an inordinate, uh, an, an inordinate. I don't even know. I give you a lot of shit. Uh, it's from a place of love. But the, the truth of the matter is, is, you know, you're just, you're just such a, a good person, and you're so. You have such a positive impact on everybody that I have to pick the low-hanging fruit. Yeah. Because your goodness makes me feel insecure <laughs> about my shittiness. I mean, that makes so sense. So therefore, I have to tease you about anything and everything I can, which is how shitty you are at videoing or, <laughs> you know, just anything. Any low-hanging fruit, I have to take it. But it... Take, please take it as a compliment because it's because you're such a, an incredible human being. Well, you are. There's not also, a punchline coming either. You are legit <laughs> an incredible human being. Well, and thank I think you. there is some level of that where I go, God, I am just the worst. <laughs> um, and it really makes my insecurities come out. And then, of course, my defense mechanism is, you know, I tease, I ridicule, and I belittle. So, well, I appreciate that. And, uh, Thank you. I'm trying to get better at taking a compliment, so I'm just gonna say thank you. And I appreciate that. With that said, I am very hopeful that you go down again <laughs> now that I have the camera. <laughs> well, this isn't anywhere near that stuff up there. It was like a weird, like, yeah, it didn't- this is easy. It didn't look as bad, but then- In fact, I, uh, I've got, a, I got an idea since we're, we're tied uh, on time today. Do you wanna just go that? that route since it's oh, not as brutal? Oh, that's a brilliant idea. It's not going to be as pretty. But, oh, but it's not as brutal. And I remember like we went. that idea. But remember we came up this that one time? Yeah. So this will be cool to show people what going down. And the know. audio will be better because it won't be us running across this ice and snow. Yeah, let's just do it. Okay. They're already hooked. Let's, yeah. let's check audio one last time. <laughs> We're good there. You're red. Am I red? Yeah. Okay. You're red. All right. All right, okay. now we'll run. Now we're good to go. Good to bomb, even though I feel like my pants are falling off. I don't you know, know what's gonna be cool about grabbing those extra microphones, had this thought, is when we're not, um, when we don't have the guest on and using it, we could turn them both on and just have, cause you know how when we started, we would just bring the microphones, we wouldn't connect it to the camera and then it was hard to, it was hard to splice it all together. Oh yeah. So we started hooking it to the camera. Well, we can just put those other mic clip those other microphones to us that aren't hooked so that we always have a backup. Oh my gosh, that right? is killer. Right? That is killer. Because then if that ever happens again where something freezes and stops, but yet we have the video. Not a backup. Yeah. Yep. So So as long as we just make sure video's not dead, which you know, like we said. We're, we're getting way better at it. We are. Morning. Morning. Let's trade so we can get the can get the valley in the background. It has been an absolutely spectacularly beautiful morning. Absolutely spectacularly beautiful. Is that overkill? Was that an over description? No, like I, there's no way to describe this. That's what's hard. Is this is absolutely amazing. The the just the snow on the mountains, the 
the sunshine barely coming out because it's got that cloud cover. The fact that we've got cotton candy sky. Like it's just next level. Yeah, it is. It really, and really made me much happier. picking any of that up, but, <laughs> but it really is, really is spectacular. Oh, and I love the, I can't wait till we get good enough to where somebody goes, hey, here's some really nice equipment <laughs> that you guys can run with. <laughs> and we'll be like, yes. Or even somebody, somebody's like, hey, I love running. Um, and I love to video and I've got some really cool stuff and I'm in way better shape than you guys. So I'll just run with you and record you. And then we'd be like, yes! Oh man. Yeah, hey, let's just put that out there. There are openings with the there Come are, Run With are, Us we project. We have a few openings with if the you, Come Run With Us project. If you can run it a sub 12 mile, you know, with... <laughs> sub 12 mile. <laughs> 12 minute mile. If you can run over 12 miles, you're out. You are out. And if you can... And if you can like, you know, just Let's walk. hold the camera better than me, and even... Which, I mean, yeah, if bar very really low, low bar, <laughs> very low bar. Uh, but yeah. I would say that opening's there. If somebody, somebody yeah. wants to jump on, Come you, run just, with us. you have to be insanely reliable, because me and Joey never are late. You know, we never call off, we never are sick. Honestly, there's truth to that. We we didn't want to come at all today. We yeah, I would both say have, there was like two percent of me that was like, "Yeah, this is gonna be fun," and ninety-eight that hated it. Yeah, we've been very busy, and we've uh, we've been like I, like I've mentioned, like I've mentioned, we've been putting in the miles, and uh, we've got I've got another long run tomorrow, and I just did not want to come. Let's just call it what it is. Let's just call it what it is. I did not want to come. And yet, Spud, here we are. Here we are. Now we've got a bunch of endorphins racing through our body. I do feel a million times better. And that was, I mean, yeah, that was, that was fun. That was awesome. Like, just like always, you're, you, you will never, ever regret it. Spud's knee might be a little sore tomorrow. What's weird is it's actually this uh, ankle. And I don't even remember that ankle, what it did. <sighs> I wish I would have recorded. I just... <laughs> I have a feeling. <laughs> I mean, if someone's going to fall for some reason, I think it's because I got a low center of gravity, so I just let myself For some know. reason, huh? Yeah. For some reason. What? You know how, how much time we've spent talking about how efficient of a runner I am, and then oh, yeah. you're jumping off of rock. <laughs> you're, huh. you're, you're jumping off of Makes barriers. Sense. You're running across logs. You're <laughs> kick flipping your feet up every chance you get. <laughs> oh, you can't honestly... Well, now that you say it out loud, it makes way it more you, sense. It's you. Yeah. yeah. It makes a lot more sense. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I got a new truck. Should we show people? I mean, you don't have a license plate on it yet, so they can't track That's you. That's true. Well, I think even with license plates now, you can't really track people. There's my truck. He's really It's a happy. work truck. It's, uh, He's really happy about it. I am happy, happy about it. I'm going to get some, some logoing done on it. It's a good looking little work truck. It's just easy. It's nothing too special. Um, but I like it. It also fits you because for some reason I just I just picture you in a truck. It's you cool. Know? Yeah, it's cool. Kids love it. Um, this has been a short episode, but where hey, are we at? We're 28 minutes. Hey, but, but that's good that's because great. now people can be like, hey, if I just need a 28 minute, boom, that's it. And you know, at least you got some time with us, which is better than nothing. <laughs> yeah. I would debatable. take 28 minutes with Joey over 28 minutes alone. I am super glad that we chose quality over quantity today from like a mileage standpoint. Uh, what did we get on Strava? Let's give the people, see if they, in total, so if you did last week's and this week's run, so an out and back, we just two-parter, we filmed two episodes today. Oh wait, um, we gotta see, uh, Brady said favorite one so far. So he responded uh, our, to the... To was this the, this episode? Or no, it this? was the last episode. So we can hurry and give him feedback. So. It's me flipping our friend off. Actually, scroll through that. Just give him a little. Uh, oh, there was it's me us, running, us, you us. running. Oh, these are videos. But we, we sent a lot of pictures to each other flipping each other off. So yeah, and, and running memes randomly. It's interesting. But anyway, uh, Strava. That's what I was doing. Don't Strava. turn off your phone. Don't do it. Uh, uh, hide. Man, some people. Oh. 
Maybe we our shirt needs to say so, uh, one thing you can do with gloves on. <laughs> your pants. Oh, I, you strava didn't. I, huh? <laughs> Oh, is that our is that our morning run? Yeah, that, that we was did? our. We did a two mile morning run though. That's our run. Just a uh, pencil. Just a straight. <laughs> just a pencil. How did I? I swear I hit record. Oh, ha! Huh. There we there go. There it is. See, it's recording. So we did two miles. This so we did a run before this run in the dark, just getting warmed up and trying to get some extra miles in. That was two miles, and this one was only three miles and thirty. Three point three three miles. Yeah. And a twenty minute average pace, one hour and ten minutes. Wow. Well, it was treacherous out there. Yeah. I mean, I could have died. We chose, like we said, we chose <laughs> quality over quantity. And it's still um, time on feet. Like, time on feet. We got five and a half back. miles in today so, in total, but only three and a half with you guys and only maybe three quarters of a mile on this episode. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, thank you so much for running with us, coming on around with us. Come on around with us more often. And thank you for putting up with us. We appreciate you. We really do. <laughs> We're so grateful. To you know. the to the four people that are looking at this right now, thank you. Yeah. We were talking about how juiced we were that we had an episode that had like 60. Yeah, we got like 63 views or 68 or 70. It's, I mean, we're pretty much famous. <laughs> I can't. I honestly can't imagine sixty people watching <laughs> a whole hour, <laughs> especially the one it was. It was like an hour and thirty minutes. That was a long one. That was a long one. I wonder how YouTube counts it. Do they count it just <laughs> if just you hit play watches, for four seconds, yeah, thirty seconds, and they're like, "Yep, we're counting it." No, I tried that a few times. Uh, I tried just push and play, and then as soon as it would go to one, I was going to turn off. Can I no, share something real quick? Maybe I should save this. I am going to save this. I'll save this for the next time we run together. Better remember. I'll, I'll put it in my phone right when I get it in the truck so I remember. So come uh, run with us to get that story. Come run with us next week and uh, please comment. What's your, what's your, what's the biggest one hit wonder ever? Oh yeah. I'd love to know. Okay. Mine's going to be Aqua Barbie Girl. That's, I claim that. Mine's, what's up, seven non-blondes. Thanks everybody. Uh, like, subscribe, follow. Thanks for hit coming on Hit the notifications on. button and get out and run.